so it's holidays. It's been a year. It is. It has been a disaster of a year. What a decade this year has been. Yes. Even coming to a close, it's still everything is still. And we're all like, "Yay, vaccine! Yay, 2020's ending!" And then England's like, "But wait, ha <laughs> ha, mutation!" <sighs> they they literally pulled a 28 days later. Yeah. On 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 England, they shut down the channel. They shut down the fucking channel. Yeah, like they don't know if pe- they they told people Christmas shop for your Christmas dinner now. Because if the stores run out, we don't know how we're going to get more. <sighs> Europe has cut them off. Like I know it's I know in the movie it's England cutting off do- cutting off Scotland. But do you remember that movie Doomsday? No. You never saw that movie? No. It's a gr- It's like three different movies rolled into one, and it's amazing. It's Your definition like, of amazing is scary. No, it's actually really good. He can back me up. It's a good movie. It um. It's like there's a pandemic and England basically walls off Scotland because they've wiped it out in England, but Scotland has it. So they just wall off Scotland and let them die. (laughs) But then like three years later, they have satellite images of people. So they're like, did they find a cure? So they send in this spy lady to like go get the cure. And like for, for one whole portion, it's Mad Max. Then they go and see these people that have taken over a medieval castle The soundtrack is like fine young cannibals. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Like it's a, it's a really good movie. (laughs) But right now I'm like, uh Oh, I'm, I was thinking 28 months later, you know, they they fucking shut down the goddamn shit. Like, no, stay out. The rest of Europe is like, no, thank you. And what's especially hilarious is I think Ireland was one of the first ones to do it. This is like, you know, the, the, Ireland was like, we find we get to kick you out again. Yes. Again. This okay. is like, you know, we had the threat of a no deal Brexit coming. This is sort of like Brexit early release, early access. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the beta. So you get you get to you get in early. You can you can you get in you can experience Brexit early. You get to try out your Brexit, but you've already bought it. <laughs> and just like with most video games. No refunds. Unless it's cyberpunk, then everyone wants to give me their money back. Okay! All the blather out of the way. It is it is time this week. And of course, strangely enough, right on time, the stories took a holiday turn. Who'd imagine that? So let's get that intro. Where's my intro? Where's that intro at? Come here. And we will get underway. And each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Um, and of course, we're, we're getting down to the wire. So before we, we get into the, the stories this week, we have to cover, of course, um, as is our want on this holiday season. It is it is time. It's goat watch, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's apparently it's goat. you're still pronouncing that wrong. Yabla blocking. Apparently, there's no L. It's blocking. Yabla blocking. Yabla blocking. Yabla blocking. Just blocking. Yabla blocking. Yeah. Man, they gotta make up their fucking minds with with these words. It's like, it's like Swedish for buck. So Bakken. Yavla Bakken. See, I looked up Yavla. I know it's Yavla. I looked that fuck up. Anyway. Well, I am also not Swedish, so I... It doesn't matter, because ain't nobody burned the fucker yet. Look at that shit. Look at that smug, not on fire <laughs> motherfucker. Somebody made the point, and I hadn't thought of this. It hasn't burned since they started live streaming it 24-7, right? But that doesn't, you know, someone could come from the direction of the camera with a flaming arrow. No one's going to yeah. see you. Like nobody's been innovative enough to work around the camera, I think is our problem. Just come on. We came up with flaming arrows in the midi- in ye olden times. You can pull that shit off. Yeah, we've had those for a long time. Someone. Are someone. you a bad enough <laughs> dude to burn the giant straw goat? 
You can't hear it because I have headphones in, but Simba is over here snoring so incredibly loud. Like it sounds like someone's letting the air out of a balloon in tiny increments. <laughs> someone's got some. It's it's. We Save must. the world, burn the goat. Save the world, burn the goat. <laughs> well, anyway, in Do other it for the gram, that's what we need. We need influencers. That's true. Yeah. Be like, it would be like so viral if you like burn that goat. Just somebody on YouTube. You know what? I I promise. Sure. I know people on YouTube will do fucking anything. They will. Speaking of doing fucking anything without thinking through the consequences, um, bless this guy. His heart was in the right place. He wanted to deliver candy canes to all the good little boys and girls in Sacramento County. His head, however, was right up his butt. Men oh, no. on powered parachute dressed as Santa rescued from power lines. Look at that shit. Um, a man dressed as Santa Claus while on a powered parachute was rescued after getting stuck on some power lines in Sacramento County. The rescue was near 7th Avenue. The California Highway Patrol's North Sacramento office also responded to the rescue, saying in a Facebook post, Turns out Santa was trying to get in some last-minute fun before the holiday and got into a hot wire situation. Um, neighbors watched from the ground as crews worked. <laughs> Quote, no, never seen that, said Colleen <laughs> Bustleman, who lives nearby. Uh, Listen, Bustle the kids are anxious enough. <laughs> Tony Fauci had to go on the air this weekend. CNN did a thing with Sesame Street, and he had to say, Santa. Heard, don't worry, kids, I personally went to the North Pole and vaccinated Santa. He's okay. <laughs> the kids are fucking worried. They don't need this. Usleman says the pilot the pilot flies overhead often. He just flies around so people can see and flies around people's houses. This is the first time he was in a Santa suit. We didn't know what was going to happen. Well, this this was what was going to happen. Um, why are you doing this? Okay, look, if you want to do this, you're in California. Just go a little east, and there's a whole lot of nothing. Well, yeah, but then there's nobody to drop candy canes on. Well, he's doing this on a normal, but there's no, look, you, if you want to give out the candy canes, walk because there's power lines. Yeah, I guess he was trying to socially distance. <laughs> See the way they do this in, in New York and New Jersey, which Dan had not experienced until a couple years ago, the fire department decorates a truck and they have Santa on the truck and you bring your kids outside and he throws you candy. It's called a candy cane run and it goes on for hours. Like you're just listening to sirens for hours. I came home one night and he was like, someone's house is burning down. And I was like, oh no, it's a candy cane run. He did not know what that was. Um, but I was raised by a fireman. So I did. <laughs> and you know, it's still socially distant. You're just pitching candy at the kids. Just, I, you're fuck it. I do not understand why someone would do this near power lines in any way, yeah. shape or form. Like, if you're experienced at all at this, I'm not experienced at all, but I still know power line's bad. Well, you got more Santa shenanigans, and this one, I don't... I... <sighs> file this one under all, under all Santas are bastards. Um, police <laughs> conduct drug raids dressed as Santa Claus and Elf. Oh, no! <laughs> A police drug squad in Peru have raided a house dressed as Santa Claus and an elf detaining a suspected drug dealer. The police spokesman said the man was accused of selling drugs outside his house. Officers wearing flak jackets under their costumes arrived in an undercover van before breaking into the house where they discovered a bag that appeared to contain drugs. Uh, the county's police have used disguises during raids for some time and say the method is an effective tactic. Disguises, yes. I don't think the drug dealers are looking outside and like, yo, man, it's fucking Santa. <laughs> Have you been good? Again, the children don't need this. No. They've they, had a tough year. They don't need to see Santa taking doors. Okay. No. They're going to be like, I don't want, I don't want Santa to come. 
I don't, I don't want, I don't want Santa to come. <laughs> He's going to take my mommy and daddy away. Jesus Christ. This is, this is some dark. Read, there's... read, read the room. Dude in the dude in the picture's got a fucking sledgehammer. This is some dark shit. <laughs> Holy shit, he does. Fucking what Santa the with fuck? a sl sledgehammer taking fucking doors, man. Oh. The night Santa went crazy. Mommy, what's Santa doing? <laughs> well, honey, they're on the naughty list. Um, that's just how it happens. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna <sighs> eat my vegetables now. <laughs> But wait, we're not done. I think I'm just, I, I already know what I'm calling this week. Santa, Are we no. Are just ruining Santa this yeah, week? Yeah, I'm calling this week Santa, no. <laughs> um, ah, the venerable old practice of the mall Santa. Let's ruin that, shall we? Mall Santa exposed himself to co-worker. Man, 45, arrested following break room incident. A mall Santa is facing felony charges after allegedly exposing himself to a teenage co-worker. According to cops, Prince Carter, that's not a really, was on a break from his Santa duties Monday evening at the Connecticut Post Mall. When he I've been to that mall so many times. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of the biggest malls in Connecticut. That's when he hugged and grabbed the female victim in a break room where Carter also allegedly exposed himself to the juvenile. Responding to a 911 call, one would call about a possible sexual assault. Police spot officers subsequently arrested Carter on risk of injury to a minor and sexual assault charges. Carter's been barred from returning to the mall, which is Connecticut's largest. The largest. I, as, gee, motherfucker. Oh, he lives in Bridgeport. That explains it. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get me, gonna get angry messages on YouTube from people in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, Bridgeport fucking sucks. I'm sorry. What, 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 hold the fuck on, man. Okay. My 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 snooty ass college that I went to was in Bridgeport, but it was just close enough to the Fairfield line that they claim to be in Fairfield, so that they could charge as much money as they did. <laughs> Let's start with with the mugshot because this is somebody who knows he done fucked up. That that is the face of somebody who's like, "This is me on the internet forever." That's not the present anyone wants you to pull out of your sack. Nope. Why would you? Why in? Teenage. Nobody wants to see your candy cane. Nobody wants to see your jingle bells. Teenagers. Why? Don't don't do this. Don't don't the, do this. For the non-Americans, tell us about Bridgeport. It's just it's mm. okay. So we used to have to take the ferry to and from my college. Uh, this is just an example that should tell you what you need to know. You got her and started, guys. I can't stop it. When we can afford it, we'd take a cab. But we were poor college students. I never walked because I I knew better, and the cab was only like eight dollars. One of my friends walked and he stopped at McDonald's on the way and a hooker beat him up and took his value meal. Bridgeport. <laughs> uh, Didn't take any money. Didn't take his wallet. Just took his McDonald's. I, I could. God, why on the. Why? In, oh, my God. Really? You're saying, I mean, you, wouldn't you? You would think just it's like putting on the costume would instill like, man, I'm fucking sorry. Right? A certain sense of responsibility, you know. But no, motherfuckers do the Santa thing and they're like, I do whatever I want. That's no, Santa in my lap. Gross. Yes, fucking gross. Jesus Christ. Look at that, that mugshot says, damn, I'm in trouble. Yeah. You're on a registry. Yeah. Well, let's let's go into some non-Santa shit. Um, but still just as baffling. No one really knows what the fuck happened here, and I doubt we ever will. Um Man filmed naked rollerblading on I-670. Still a mystery. 
a naked man rollerblading in front of a vehicle wearing nothing but a panda head and covering what looks like a carry what looks like a golf club has yet to be identified. We got a picture here. Here he is. Um that that there we go. That's as tame as I can put on the YouTubes. Um a spokesperson for the Ohio Department of Transportation who had seen the video said the uh cameras store information 72 hours. Um it's, uh, Tuesday is most likely time uh, on that day. Traffic cameras at Neal Avenue were facing west. Blah, 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 blah. Why? A lot of extraneous details. Someone was padding this yeah. shit. Um, <laughs> A few more words. I don't care about the fucking cameras. Tell us about the naked dude rollerblading. That's what we want to know. That's what the people want. He has yet to be identified, which, you know, that's kind of sad if, if you know, no identifying marks and he has an ex out there somewhere that knows exactly who it is. <laughs> Let's be honest. There's someone out there that's like, Oh no, I know. I know. You could not get me to walk on a highway fully clothed. Okay. No, I'm from Long Island. You couldn't get me to walk on a highway in full armor. Like, cause I, I, I have had to, I've popped a tire on the side of the road. I've had engine trouble on the side of the road. I've gotten out and you don't realize until you're actually standing out there. It's fucking scary. It, fuck, you, you don't appreciate how fast those motherfuckers are going. They go fucking fast. It's like, I, if I take two steps this way, I cease to be. Is this, is this 2020's version of the sexual harassment panda? <laughs> Well, he is sexually harassing everyone. This was a plan. Like, yeah, he you you wake up, up one day and decided today's the day. Just the, the pan ahead, the roller, the golf club. This this is like this is like right out of Saints Row. I swear to God, this is <laughs> fucking. He 100% wins the three item Walmart challenge. <laughs> he wins. Uh, this, no cashier would guess this. This is not what you want to fucking deal with on your commute. No. Why were you late? Well. Your boss is not going to believe. Your boss is not. No, you better make sure you somebody takes a fucking picture because your boss is not going to believe this shit. Look, there is a naked guy with a panda head rollerblading on the highway. Okay, you you can just say you overslept, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. It happened. I just it, it fucking what. Also, it's December in Ohio. Yeah, well, yeah, that that's it's going to be much harder to identify you because, you know, there's less of you. Um, there wasn't a lot to show off there, I imagine. Yeah. Well, let's uh, move a little bit closer to my neck of the woods. Okay. This is for I, I don't know how it works in other countries. I know how it works most places I've been here. We have very specific rules about vultures and buzzards and other carrion birds. You don't fucking touch them. It's illegal everywhere to do anything. I thought any you were going to say the birds were regulated somehow. I no. was really interested to know how they did that. No, we, we, we have, we have law specific laws here that say it, very stiff fines and penalties for killing or harming any kind of carrion bird. Because they're necessary. Yeah. If we didn't have them, we'd have dead fucking animals everywhere. So who would want to fuck with them? Have you seen a vulture up close? Well, that's that's the thing. In most instances, you would not want to fuck with them, but that becomes a problem when they want to fuck with you. Oh no. <laughs> Plague of vultures forces tiny North Carolina town to take drastic steps. A cannon! Oh my god. Small North Carolina town is vowing to use a cannon fire as a way to rid itself of the reviled vultures that have gathered for weeks on rooftops. 
Bunn, uh, about 30 miles northeast of Raleigh, says the blasting starts December 22nd and will last through Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. Franklin Town has a population of about 366 people. An automated propane cannon will be temporarily installed on the roof of the gymnasium of Bunn High School. They will be programming the cannon to fire in the morning, afternoon, and evening when the vultures will likely be roosting. The 130 decibel sound will be like a gunshot. News of the unusual tactic has been shared hundreds of times on Facebook in its past day. With co some commenters noting, firing cannons from school rooftops is another bizarre example of bizarre occurrences in 2020. Who let Michael Bay meet, remake The Bird? <laughs> <laughs> He's not qualified. <laughs> He's going to put kicks on them. Oh, th this is a fun one in case you didn't know. Vultures are infamous for vomiting when approached by a threat. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a See, thing. This is the quote that gets me. Anyone looked into why something has to be attracting them. <laughs> <laughs> Your town doesn't have a vulture problem. Your town has a zombie problem. Or maybe just like there's one dude with like seven dudes in the basement. Something. It's either got a serial killer or a zombie problem. Vultures known to roost the top homes, pulling off shingles, caulking around windows and vinyl sidings. They can also scratch paint, pull off windshield wipers and crack windows on cars. Crack windows. And kick your ass. Vultures are not little. They have a five foot They're wingspan. Yeah, that's like a person-sized bird with pointy bits that go through you. And, it and will, they don't want to kill you because they want you to already be dead. And it will probably not opposed to it either. And it will fucking vomit it. Yeah, the town is about to be drenched in vulture puke. Um. Uh, yeah, that that could, that could be. Yeah. <laughs> The town belongs to the vultures now. Y'all just gotta move. There's only 300 of you. We can find some other place right? to put There's you. 300 people just leave. It's Vultureville now. I want to know who on the town council decided we're going with cannon. a cannon. Cannon. We're going with explosions. We're going revolutionary war on these motherfuckers. I mean, I'm like, are you sure? Because I've got a fender basement right here. You need, you need 100 <laughs> decibels. You I would sort of stand on top of the school. I would love to crank stallions. I'd love to crank that son of a bitch for you. I got a fender basement. I got a pro. I, I got a proco rat. I got a, a Stratocaster with a the pearly gates uh, humbucker. I can. You got vultures. You won't have them for very long. Statistically speaking, at least ten percent of that town probably has children. Just give them microphones. <laughs> just give every toddler in town a karaoke machine for Christmas <laughs> you're done uh, a new Christmas tradition screaming at the birds That's like, where, are the, where are the cannonballs gonna go no, so it's, just, it's just a propane cannon so it's just boom it's oh, just an explosion okay, so there's no fucking bowling ball that they no, have to worry about going there, through someone's roof there's no projectile it's just it's a, it's okay. a dry fire but it's still gonna oh, yeah. be boom like three times a day. I mean, shit, you give me like a hundred bucks, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm in... that, would be, that would be better for the internet, too. Seriously. I'll just, you know, I mean, that, that would be a hell of a video, though. I get up there, I start, I start going into it and fucking all the vomit birds start vomiting at me. That's fucking metal, man. I promise you that would go viral. That's fucking metal, man. That would be hardcore. Uh, like Jack Black could never. No, go go into Rock of Ages, man. All the fucking birds start puking. It's great. <laughs> All right. Finally, this week, somebody is trying to. I showed at the start of the show tonight all the things that went wrong in Cyberpunk 2077. All the the, the, the this game is released so broken. Uh, all the cars flipping up in the air and the police appearing from thin air out of when you're not looking at them and all this sort of bullshit. My favorite thing about the game, Dan has it and he's been enjoying it. 
you can pick the size of your penis. And when he chose large, five inches, five inches, <laughs> five inches. And you, no. You're like, you're like, oh my god, Poland. Are, are you all right? Bless your heart. Come on now, <laughs> fellas. Ah, uh, okay. So, um, yeah. long like a mini pony, <laughs> like a My Little Pony. Yeah. <laughs> Minnesota, speaking of that video game, man carjacked five people in one hour and ten minutes in Minneapolis. For charity or something? St. <laughs> <laughs> Paul man has been charged after allegedly carjacking five people in the span of an hour. His arrest and charges are part of the carjacking crackdown in which the Minneapolis Police Department officially announced they had arrested approximately 50 people for the crime. If you got a carjacking crackdown, there's a problem. <laughs> Brandon Lee Rock, 20, was charged with five counts of first-degree aggravated robbery and one count of assault. According to the criminal complaint, Rock was with a young boy on the morning of November 27th. The two of them approached a man on the 1300 block of 7th Street. Rock was holding a handgun and pointed at the man who's getting his car, demanded the man give him his wallet, cell phone, and car keys. All right, you won. You got the car. But then at 7.15, the two approached another man. When the man took his wallet and jacket before fleeing the scene. At 7.50 a.m., the two pulled up on a woman sitting in her car. They blocked the woman for exiting her car. Rock pointed the gun at her, demanded she get out of the car, give her the purse. She refused and drove away as Rock fired both. No. Fuck you. <laughs> Criminal complaint goes on to say that at 8 a.m., Man was on his phone, sitting in his car at the intersection. Rock tapped on his window with the gun, demanded to get out of the car and hand over his keys. The Rock and the boy got into the man's car. They eventually left in the first victim's car. The fourth victim identified Rock in a photo lineup. At 8.10, the two pulled up next to a man walking. Uh, they demanded to hand over his personal items, even though the man tried to run away. Rock and the boy took an envelope with approximately $1,300 from the man's back pocket. Ten minutes later, officers say the first victim's car, the officer saw the first victim's car and tried to stop it, but it sped away. They later found the car unoccupied around the 2300 block of Pillsbury Avenue South. They found the second victim's wallet and jacket. They executed a search warrant while searching the residence. Officers found multiple personal items believed belonging to the victims and a loaded 9mm handgun. Rock was at the address. So... Was this like a Goldilocks situation with the cars? <laughs> this one's too big. This one's too small. This See, one smells you funny. You kept rock, and I, I just kept thinking, did Dwayne Johnson fall in the times or something? <laughs> See, I was thinking of Nicolas Cage, because maybe this is the Gone in 60 Seconds sequel? There's a, lot go there's a lot going on here. Who brings the... Was this Bring Your Kid to Work Day? <laughs> That day doesn't count if your job is crime. Now you see, son, you got to keep the gun right at them, okay? You got to let them know. To keep your eyes on them. Don't take your eyes off them. Keep the gun right at them the whole time until you've got the car. Remember that. It's very important. This is, this is where Daddy got his Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for five cars, what in the fuck you couldn't decide? It was like... I got a car. Oh, I want that one. And this is really, this is really just like one of these fucking video games, like yeah. like fucking GTA or Cyberpunk or something. Because you 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 find somebody in a cool car, and you're like, ooh, and you take it from the character. That one's nicer. And you drive around, you see one that's like, oh, that was badass. You get out, you take that one. It's just fucking like that. Only oh, you don't drive the stolen car back to where you live. <laughs> You're supposed to dump it somewhere and let them chop it for parts and you get paid. You don't take it. It's you will get to keep the car. No. I think Finders you, keepers is not applicable in real life. You don't understand your own crime. Yeah. If, if I like the lady that was just like, no, and drove away. <laughs> if convicted, Rock could serve up to a hundred and seven years in prison. Cause that's that's a lot of shit. Yeah. What were five to five cars? And well, he four cars. He shot at the lady. He yeah. shot at one car. So that, that, yeah. that probably counts as attempted murder. Oh yeah, they don't. They they're not. 
they, they don't like you know you don't get to just shoot at people no especially not the commission sometimes especially not the commission of a felony that's that's like that's like a force multiplier yeah discharging a firearm and the commission of a felony ooh they are that's ooh in real life six <clears throat> stars will not appear above your head no ever. no you, you you can't just yeah it's not it's not like red dead you can't just run to a post office and pay off your bounty yeah there's no home base <laughs> Like you don't get home and get to yell safe. That's not how it works. He fit in Lord of the Things. And he fit an entire lifetime of crime in under two hours. Yeah, quite literally, because that's how long he's going to be in jail. He's going to be in jail like a lifetime and then some. He's got some to spare. <sighs> so yeah, the, the the first thing we learned this week is um, if you're going to carjacking, choose carefully. Choose once. And don't take it home with you. I don't know why I'm helping you. That's my job. <laughs> just, I mean, fucks. I think you just you you completely missed the point of the crime. Yeah. It's not it's not how many cars you can take in an hour. It's not a race. <laughs> it's not an Xbox achievement. Okay. No. Um, we've learned that sometimes. You need a giant cannon to take care of the giant birds. And then you're going to need the Autobots to take care of the giant cannon when it develops sentience. And so on and so on and so on. This, this, was, this was their solution. You need to just abandon that town. Because, yeah, why are they there? Uh, you got to go. We've learned... Um, Pixar it doesn't happen applies to dudes rollerblading down the highway with a panda head because uh, your boss isn't going to take your word for that shit. Um, we've learned Santa, if you're going to be a Santa, don't be not molesty. Santa yeah. is not molesty. And try to stay away from sledgehammers. Yeah, don't don't be taking doors dressed as Santa. You're sending a, kind of the wrong message there. The kids okay. have had a real hard year. Just give them this one. Maybe, maybe, Just maybe. let them have Santa. And finally, this week we've also learned: um, while your heart may be in the right place, please don't. If you're going to play Santa, don't get tangled up in the goddamn power lines. The kids don't need to see Santa fucking electrocuted. <laughs> no, Jesus. Then one foggy Christmas Eve. <laughs> 